work of the forum, I'm sure there'll be important recommendations in order to provide security, stability, predictability, and cooperation in the world. Nizami lives and his ethics lives, and the question for us in the center is how to apply these ethics to the standards of our contemporary world. There are two types of gaps. One gap is inside the country. The gaps are between the richer one and the poorer one. What are the gaps in, in understanding and in research? And the topic in which I will be involved is around inclusion and exclusion in societies, and so it links, I think, to this gap theme behind the Baku Forum. The word gap is a kind of neutral expression. It is failure. We have to recognize that, that we have failed in doing so. So we have to change our, man, our way or ways and means to deal with that problem. Overcoming gaps and building bridges is nothing uh, unknown to this world. It has been all through centuries like this. full day agenda. It's very provocative um, topics and discussions. People do not shy away from the uncomfortable conversations. They have them in a civil and meaningful way. Um, and I haven't been at a conference like this before. The very foundation of a just society is this respect for difference, the acceptance of difference, the embracing of difference, as a basis for positive contributions to our common good. It is a message to the world of the living together and accepting the, accepting the other irrespective, even if it's different. Actually, different, different is very important because it enriches society. It is like the that the piece of mosaic. It is an interesting perspective because on the one hand you have people who have had experience, a great deal of experience in governments and have now the freedom to say what they want to say. We all of us, we spoke about human rights. Let's assume that you give to minority the all rights. What are you doing if they want to separate? You encourage them, what you do? Finding a good governance that takes into account fully the rights of minorities, but also the will of the majority, that kind of problem is typically a problem that illustrates the misunderstanding that sometimes prevails in politics. So what we need in the world today, no country is immune from it, but the emerging markets even more so, wide-reaching reach, structural reforms, continuous, changing, improving, the religious cultural divide and what role can we have for political leadership? To keep religion out of politics and keep politics out of religion. And at the same time you had people who were who had to deal and who had who have to make decisions about current issues and have to balance of course diplomacy with um, with reality. The United States and China have a $650 billion trading relationship. It's extraordinary. It's larger than the GDP of many countries. But political tensions are accelerating. All the speakers or participants give us a lot of uh, the, uh, input and uh, make a lot of contributions to, to, uh, to this uh, forum. Nizami is very unique also for me because it brings very successfully all the leaders from the Balkan, as no one else is doing that. The majority of the production of CO2 doesn't come from cars, it doesn't come from house, houses, it comes from production of energy. You have to keep that in mind. And this is the goal, to produce benefits for everyone, including the environment. A world who wants to be a peaceful, a better world has to invest in young people, but it also has to invest in open-minded societies. A 
generational gap, youth speaks, we listen. Inclusion for me is not marginalizing a region based on religion. Inclusion for me is a world where every single woman feels fundamentally safe, regardless of her racial and religious identities. Exclusion for me is knowing that my peers won't have the same opportunities or ease because they're not white men. We have access to everything, which changes the role we play as specialists today. Because now, knowing everything is not enough, because anyone can know everything with the help of Google. Now, it's important to develop certain skills and to become real leaders. We have gone from 1% of communications going through the internet to 97% of global communications going through the internet in 15 years. The price we are going to have to pay for access to all that information is to start using our heads to think critically about what we're seeing and hearing. Baku Global Forum uh, has developed uh, over the years in a truly global platform to discuss, assess and find solutions to our common challenges. Usually uh, discussion forums and policies have been always in the West, discussing the regional, our regional problems but also other problems. For the first time a serious forum has been settled in, in Azerbaijan, which is our region, discussing not only our problem in the region, but also the problem of the world. So in this case, it is something very important. Mm -hmm.